bench made. Shot Show 2022. Yeah, we're with, oh, Frankie say hey. Hey. That's probably a little weird for, for Nate. He doesn't know our channel. No, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a trademark thing people ask. That's awesome, yeah. Nate is with Benchmade. Now, you were telling us you're in sales mostly? I am sales. I'm the national accounts manager over at Benchmade here. Yeah. Uh, happy to be back at SHOT Show. Really excited to be able to show off this 2022 product. And let's just get into There's it. There's a lot of good stuff for 2022. It's exciting. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you guys just want to dive right in. Yeah. Um, right. Now, Real quick for the audience, this these round tables, they've got actually two or three of them. There's another one over there. Yeah. Leave two. Okay. We need one of these for the, the living room. That's exactly yeah. what I was gonna say. We need yeah. we need to find a way to get this home, this right. whole thing. This, this would be perfect for the living room. Our living room or our kitchen even. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, we love this. But all of the new stuff yeah. in here for twenty twenty two. Yeah, that included, right? Not just the table. Yeah. 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 Oh, perfect. <laughs> True. Yes. If you could hook us up, yeah. if you could hook us up, yeah. I'll see what I can do. Oh, and, and real quick, you'll notice, depending on when you're watching this, you'll notice people wearing masks. That's actually mandated uh, right now for the show. Yeah. The show wouldn't have happened unless we did that. So, exactly. yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, let's get into it. Yeah, let's awesome. talk. Diving like right in. I like to just yeah. start with the creme de la creme. Get yes. it off, uh, real Nine, hot right off the bat. 945? Yes, this is the gold class unlimited limited for the year. So it's available for the entire year. We'll take your orders for that whole time. But as soon as the year ends, we're done with it. And this year we're doing the 945 mini Osborne. I'm a giant 940 nut. Uh, Us too. Yes. yes. I love, and I love how we collectible have a, the they are. We red 940. Yep, yeah. Oh, I we love those We have one of the ones. originals. Yes. yes. 2000 and, or 2001, I think it's the year. Yeah. 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 And for uh, this one, we decided to do fat carbon handle scales, aqua blue anodized bolster with a thumb stud to match, and that A gear pattern damask deal, meaning giant of the sea. Um, oh, okay. There we go. Really like it. And then we've also got a nice 24 karat backspacer on that. I did not know it was 24 karat. Yes. Of course it is. This what does that retail for? Seven hundred dollars MSRP. Okay. Yep. Um, the floating backspacer on here—it's kind of like two standoffs with a backspacer on top of it, so it gives that little floating effect. It's so pretty. Love it. Yep. I love it. I'm really excited to see the 945 in the gold class now. Yeah, uh, we were talking yesterday. We were we were sort of half joking, but. If Frankie could find a way just to kind of pocket that and we could be on our way. Yeah, that'd uh, be good. Okay. The, no, just in all seriousness, uh, is anything in this case available right now? Uh, they will be available soon. We've got a, a few that are launching in the next couple weeks. And then kind of the hunt knives will be launching in the summer right before hunt season. So uh, a bit more seasonal appropriate launches, but everything's kind of scattered from now until August. You'll, sure. you'll get things sprinkled in here and there. Okay, well, let's keep moving. We got a lot to look at, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So going to a brand new platform for us. This is the Weekender. This is a dual bladed slip joint knife that's got that kind of classic. It's got a lot going on. Style. There is yeah. a lot going on here. Kind of that canoe style. It comes in a cool gray G10 as well as the olive drab micarta that we see down there as well. Yeah, I like um, that. These are S30V blades. Okay. And I like to think of this like smaller blade over here as being your sacrificial blade. And then this <laughs> is the one that you can do all the things that you feel okay with. Right, yeah, there I you was go. gonna say, are you prying with that large blade then? <laughs> <or> no, <laughs> no this, you have like the bottle opener that you can pry with. Okay, pry exactly. with the bottle opener, which it does have oh, then, right? Yeah. We got a lot of requests for the bottle opener. Yes. So finally cool. we did it. Yeah. What's the price? Uh, what's the Blade HQ price? So, uh, Ooh. for example, MSRP on this one, I believe, is around two fifty. Okay. okay. I don't yeah. know some of these right off the top of my head. You're um, in sales. You should yeah. know so, these prices. I'm so <laughs> used to just having a computer in front of me at this point, working from home, man. Nice, the nice. computer does the thinking Wait, for me. Wait, working from home? Yeah. Lucky That's you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, actually, I have been lately too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There is the olive drab version as well with a nice little kind of orange anodized aluminum collar around that. Other yeah, cool thing great. about the Weekender is it's got an adjustable pivot. Oh, Don't okay. see that often on a slip joint. You're um, talking just like a normal folder. Yeah, like uh, that. just that pivot screw yeah. right there has yeah. uh, a place for a torque spin. So you can actually adjust the tightness on that. Most oh, slip that's joints nice. yeah. won't have oh, right, something right. for you to adjust the tension on. Uh, this yeah. one does. Yeah, I like that orange pivot collar. That's it's great. a nice pop of color. Yeah. Pop of color, that's one of Frankie's terms. Yeah. yeah. Pop o color. Papa, I thought Papa. it was. Like Papa Smurf. Right, yeah. Uh, is that another 945? 
It's a mini bug out. This is the mini bug out right oh, now. Oh, I'm looking from a distance through the camera. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. So, excuses, excuses. Sorry. This is the 533 3 mini bug out, kind of the premium version with your S90V blade and S90. carbon fiber handle. We did this exact configuration in the full size bug out last year. This year we just hit it with a shrink ray and uh, you get yep. the mini little brother. I love the mini. It's we one have, of my uh, all time favorites. Yeah. It's great. We have, I don't know, five or six bug outs at this point. <laughs> yeah. So yep. I, I'm going to have to edit myself because I should have recognized it. But yeah. uh, yes. no, anyway, we, we do uh, love yes, the bug out. stupidity out of that. Thank you. <laughs> we, we love the bug out. It's good, to see, it's good to see new variations of it. It is. It is. The bug out family keeps growing. Yeah. Well, would you say it's one of your biggest sellers? Like, oh, definitely. Of all it's, things, like, yeah. it just is. The yeah. bug out just like, you, as soon as we're done making it, yeah. we just pack it up, ship it out, and it's gone. Like, yep. it's, a, it's a quick time that that's in the uh, factory for. Yeah, it's great. All right, so now, staying, is that part of the hunt series then, the next fixed blade? This is actually staying in the blue class. Oh, right. Last one in the blue class for us today, but this is the 539 GY Anonymous. And uh, if you guys are familiar with the Bushcrafter and you like the Bushcrafter, that's a big, chunky knife great for what it does. You want that thing to be sturdy and dependable. This is more of a survivalist knife. Okay, uh, yeah. CPM crew wear steel, so it's tough as anything. Yeah. Toughness, that's what you want in a fixed blade. You want toughness and you want safety in a survivalist fixed blade. So we have yeah. this elongated choil that serves as a finger guard for when you're really hammering yeah. on it. Yeah. And then we've also machined out that kind of half moon shape right there get you a 90 degree edge perfect for a ferro rod for when oh, you're striking oh i'm that wondering you don't have to okay. use the spinier blade anymore makes awesome. a lot of sense yeah. yeah and because of this blade steel is super uh tough we can afford to make the blade stock a little thinner which keeps it light it's not as bulky as the bush crafter is i really like this it it, yeah. it fits in the hand well it's well balanced uh just a great fixed blade for anybody that's doing camping survivalist activities anything like that right. really great now, real quick, the the classes, the blue class. Yes. You're saying, but the the hunt class, the hunt series. Correct. Are they all orange then? That's kind of the theme of it. Yeah. It's it's the unofficial theme of it. It's, okay. It's orange. Okay. Um, but that's not necessarily what dictates it. It's just kind of, I guess, survivalist. Uh, our blue class is kind of your more everyday carry, but also outdoorsman type yeah. stuff. So a survivalist knife fits really well into that. Um, yeah. Like the bushcrafter is also in the blue class as well. Okay, well, let's to go to the OTF. To, Here we go. To get a little more urban, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, this is the one that we're eyeing the most. Yes. yes. And, yeah. and you watching out there may have seen this on Instagram, and whatnot. This is the new OTF for Benchmade. Yes. You have done some OTFs before. Oh yeah. We've but done quite a few OTFs. We don't do them too often. Yeah. But the notable thing about this one is that this is the first plastic injection molded handled yes. OTF that we've done. Well, it makes it a little bit more budget friendly too exactly. than the Infidel. So yeah. I usually yeah. tell everybody all about this knife and then they're kind of nervous for the price point, but it's the cheapest one we've ever done at $300. Budget friendly, not exactly. cheap. <laughs> <laughs> budget, I like that. I'm going to be using that. Well, there we go. That's the, yeah. and it's called. And That's it's the called the. Shot. 5370 FE shootout. Shootout. So That's right, yeah. CF Elite handle scales, CPM crew wear blade, carbide glass breaker, uh, and of course a deep carry clip on there as well. Uh, super Actually, lightweight. I might handle this one. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. So we looked at this one for the first time yesterday. When I picked it up, I was just amazed at the lightness. Yes, yeah. it's awesome. It's, and then the grip, like skateboard tape grip. Yeah. Exactly, front. exactly. It's high grip on this thing. Yeah. Um, Okay, so it weighs nothing. Yep. And then here's the here's the um, the button to access. Why am I saying it's the button, right? It's yeah. the yeah. Um, actuator. I actuator, love that sure. One. Okay. It's super light itself, as in it doesn't take much. Well, and as, if you're used to like Microtex, where it usually takes a little bit of effort to open, this one does not, and it makes it super fidget friendly. Yes, and OTFs can be that way, right? Fidget oh, friendly, yeah. or or not, I guess, depending on the model. But this thing. You see it said show sample? Yeah. I'm hoping they let us leave with that one. Right? <laughs> I don't think he's, he's gonna get tired of hearing that. It's Even been branded. It's gonna be in the collection of the table, yeah, remember? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Once right. we, I love the blade finish on this too, with the little bronze. I like flat dark earth kind yeah, of look, yeah. you know? I really like it as well. I think it looks good with the Tonto too. Yeah. It's kind of like the automatic bailout. 
Well, and this will be a great platform so that you can do all different colors and uh, yeah, it will be great. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, we want to see more of this. One of these might have to end up in our collection. Yeah. So uh, on this video, we will do more on this knife in oh, the yeah, future. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see so, it on the channel. This is just a quick preview. Yep. That's the that's okay. the one that's like catching it. our eye the most for 2022 Benchmade. Yeah, love it. What do we got next? Next, we've got uh, kind of a, a little sneaky one here, a limited. This is our shot knife. This is the one we do for SHOT Show every year. This okay. year, it is the Mini Adamas, the 273BK, doing a dyed red micarta handle scale on there. Yes, really, I love that. I love a micarta. So, yeah. CPM crew wear blade with a nice kind of uh, tungsten gray Cerakote on it, too. I really like this colorway. It's subtle, it's not too flashy, but it's cool. He's a fat little knife. It is, <laughs> it's a chunky boy. Yeah, it yeah. really is. And it's, this is the mini too. The full size is, I always say that we should sell the full size with a belt that comes with it. Yes. Um, nice. I love it. It's, it's full, it fits in the hand, full liners. You know, oh, more real quick. Support. Did we say the price on the shootout? What, what's expected oh, price on the wise? Shootout. Yeah. The shootout is going to be MSRP of $300. Okay, so yes. that's actually, Thank for you. an that's MSRP, that. that's yeah. actually pretty yeah. good. Because what does the infidel usually start at? Uh, right around $510. Yeah, yeah, so it's way more budget-friendly. Yes. Yeah. And for a, a user of an OTF that this appears to be <laughs> everything <laughs> about it. But it, yeah. but yeah, back to this, the, yeah. the price on this one. So this one, because it's our shot knife, it's not available available for purchase directly from us. It was just part of our pre-shot yeah. program. Uh, MSRP is 250 on this one. Though. Well, where could people get that if they fell in love with it then? If they fell in love with it, it would have to be your favorite dealer. If okay, your dealer so places a free shot order, this better. was included with them. So okay. just our kind of way of uh, showing thanks for, for sticking with us. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, moving on here, we still got uh, a decent amount in the case. Yeah, we got a ways to go. Um, this one will be real quick. This is the uh, 9070 BK Claymore. We introduced the Claymore last year. But the Claymore? In a serrated variant. This time, plain edge. Uh, I'm a plain edge guy, so I'm excited. Yeah. Other than that, same materials, grivery handle scales, uh, CPM D2 blade, and it's got a really snappy action on that push button auto. Yeah, so. For those that don't know, Claymore is a military explosive yep. device. Yeah. It's a mine, like it faces, it says front towards enemy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Does that say that anywhere on this one? The braille right there on the hill, right there, that, yeah, That's right where the tang is, is, that That's is, awesome. uh, or sorry, it's not braille, it's Morse, but yeah. it says front towards enemy. No kidding. Yes. That's great. That's so cool. <laughs> and uh, the uh, texturing on the handle there is supposed to resemble ball bearings. Cool. Which is what it, yeah. which is what it fires out. Yes. Wow. Oh, that's great. So they you had guys some knew, fun with this one. You guys yeah. knew what you were doing. Yep. yep. Wow. Oh, okay. price on that? Did you say? What was that? Uh, price? I believe the price on that one is two seventy. Yeah. Oh, this was one that you fell in love with yesterday. This next one. Yes. Now this. Which model is it exactly? So this is a brand new platform for us. This is the 430BK readout. Readout. And, yes. And this one, uh, kind of, we just took a look at the black class and said, what are we missing here? It's an essential folder. We need kind yeah. of the grip tillion of the black class. There's a CPM D2 blade on this, grivery handle scales. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty lightweight too. It's got nice texturing there. I believe our engineers called that the fat chunky waffle. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. Nice, nice and, description. Yeah. And it's one that you, you're not afraid to kind of beat up on and, and get rough and tough with. Uh, yeah, and you can see that there's a lot of jimping all around. So yeah, you're gonna be able to grip into this very nicely with gloves, oh, on the white top. hands, Sh everything like that. Show the spine of that real quick yeah. too. So you got it all the way down. Yeah. It almost reminds me of like an alligator or a crocodile on the back here. <laughs> it really does. What material is that it, it, on the top? It's a grivery, did you say? Grivery for the handle scale. Uh, the... Because looking at it, it looks like an uh, an integral. Oh, I guess yeah, it yeah. is well, kind uh, of. Like this whole back section is, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is kind of. It's, uh, I really like that one. Price point's like 180. So good entry level price point folder for, heck, your, heck yeah. uh, for your black class. Yeah, so if you love the like, Griptillions, this is a perfect. Yeah. Wow, perfect and edition. actually, let me pick it up again. Oh, it's so lightweight too. No, no, hand me the knife. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. yeah. No, sorry, cheesy joke. Yes, um, exactly. These are nice. The action it just reminds me of the grip to the end. Too. Yeah, it exactly. Is yeah. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Now let's get to my favorites. Actually, yeah, these are are Frankie's favorite. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Different, some different mechanisms. You're looking at the same knife. Yep. Pretty much. The same knife, different mechanisms, and each 
mechanism variant comes in three, all three of these colorways that you're about to see as well. So it's basically nine new SKUs for us, but this, starting it off, is the full immunity. This one is a manual opener uh, with a worn cliff blade, an M4 steel with aluminum anodized scales, and then full stainless steel liners running down it. This thing's tough, it's small, but it packs a punch. Yeah, it does. It has this lanyard that it comes with. It with does come with the lanyard. Matching yeah. PVD coated bead. Nice. Um, and you notice there's three finger grooves here, and that lanyard with the knot serves oh, as a fourth attachment nice. yeah. point. Yeah. Actually, show that, show that in your hand real quick. Yeah. We call it, uh, small hands. call it Frankie's small hands. <laughs> I can put full fingers, four fingers on here. Four fingers all four the way fingers, on it. Yeah. yeah, nice description. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then like that little bit of ramp right there for the mm -hmm. foam is just beautiful. Yep. Yeah, we're wanting these. one of these also. Yeah. Yep. I'm a simple man. I see M4, I click five. Well, and for well, me, I wouldn't be able to choose which color to get. Yeah. I love all of them. Love them all. They're all M4 steel then? All of them are M4. All of them are the same materials and everything. The differences are the mechanisms and colors. Real quick, what's the M4? What's the... Um... It's an awesome car. Yeah, right, yeah, it's an awesome car, but what's the selling point? What's the high point of a of M4 steel? M4 is a high carbon steel, right. which uh, is just super tough super durable, but it holds a really good edge. A lot of the time when you kind of prioritize strength and toughness in a blade steel, you do so at the cost of corrosion resistance or edge retention. M4 is that kind of sweet spot where you get the best of both worlds of toughness with edge retention. It holds a wicked edge and it, it's a tough blade steel as well. So but it's really, not stainless. It is not stainless, no. High carbon. You have this coating on here exactly. makes it much more corrosion resistant. We and only do M4 coated. We'll never, we don't do uncoated M4. People are always asking us for it. And I'm like, hey, for your sake, you want this to yeah. be coated. All right, well. And it makes for a much nicer looking blade. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's yeah, go. Well, yeah. That's the that's Full the assisted immunity. or the auto. This is the manual. manual. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Did we look at it at Full one immunity. of the assisted ones? We will next. So. Is uh, it assisted or auto? Auto. Full Considered auto. an auto. Full okay. Auto. So, this then is the auto immunity. I'm gonna get around here so you can get the full action on it. I love this blue anodized color. You've got your safety yeah. on the spine like you normally the, do with there is us. A safety, yep. It is an axis lock. I love that. And there's that auto right there. It's super snappy, super quick. Um, I just love how this thing feels in the hand. So, yeah. same blade seal, same materials, just put some springs I love into the this one. Axis lock deployment. Yes. It makes it so cool. An axis lock auto. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, which one are you liking more? I probably like. I don't know. I really like the auto version of it. I think I probably. And I like that color combo. It wouldn't, it wouldn't get more. Let's complicate your decision yes. a little more, actually, <laughs> because we've got one left here for the well, immunity it's family. It's illegal. I like the larger blade. Exactly. Way. I do like this one, it's yeah. a little smaller, same handles, so we didn't shorten the handles for this yeah. one. We did shorten the blade though. Those other ones are two and a half inch blades. This is a sub two inch blade right here. I was, looking, I was looking through the camera, it is a shorter blade. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the California legal version. Yep. Yes, this is the California legal version. Another thing that I didn't mention on the other ones, since this is the immunity family, yeah. you've had the full immunity, the auto immunity, now the partial immunity. This knife was completely concepted, designed, produced during the pandemic by our design team. Oh. And so it's they put in that pivot right there, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little COVID molecule Wait. No way. in that pivot right there. That's so, so cool. They That's like to hide COVID these little molecules. Easter eggs in these knives and everything. That I like makes to say, it so awesome. it that's makes fun. Collectors yes, exactly. So if you collect these and you get the auto immunity, the full immunity, and the partial immunity, I say you've got yourself the herd immunity right there. Though. Right, that's perfect. See, you need that right now. I wish Nate hadn't told us that because she's going to want all. I have to get it. She's going to want all of them. Minor, like I have my Microtech outbreak because it's like all of like the fun theme stuff. Yeah, for exactly. Our, yeah, yeah. So, and the more themes they do, the more we buy. I know. <laughs> yep. Well, did we say? prices on those all roughly? of those ranging between three different uh mechanisms on there are going to be going from about 240 to 260. so depending on uh, which yeah, one you get the bad. mini or the full size or the auto and the manual right in that range yeah and just great. a reminder too for anybody that's not aware benchmade is all usa yes it yep. is. everything yep. is usa made 100 so. percent made in oregon city oregon the price doesn't sound bad especially when you're talking usa made yep. exactly yeah this so, is oh, this, this is, is one I'm, this is so great this yes yeah. We're moving from the black class into the hunt class now. Yeah. This is the 15535 tagged out. 
Uh, this is tagged a brand new. Tagged out, two words. Tagged out, one yeah. word. One word. Yeah, okay. like you got your tags for the season and uh, oh, okay. you shot your limit, so gotcha. you're tagged out. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, so we this. We don't hunt. So oh, we got it. Not, we might not know your tools. We, <laughs> it's we'll, we'll hunt down a, a good restaurant and get a good steak, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's my kind of hunting, too. Right, yes, <laughs> exactly. So this is, we noticed that a lot of hunters were carrying bug outs in their pockets. Yes. Um, yeah. And we figured why not just give them their own bug out, one that's uh, a bit more low drag, so no thumb stud on it. You've got that hole right there in the blade. Yeah. Still, other than that, it's just like a bug out. You've got the grippery handle scales, you've got those two barrel spacers there, um, and then CPM 154 blade steel with a nice swooping clip point blade on it. If you ever wondered what a bug out would look like if you threw a Crooked River blade on it, uh, here you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Exactly. Okay, Crooked River. Yeah. Super lightweight, coming in at sub two ounces. Sub two ounces for that? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. And, I, I uh, thought uh, that was the, the weight of a, a bug out was yeah. right well, around sub is, two ounces. New, it is. It's a new version of the bug out. Yeah, but it's, it's a lot bigger though. I was amazed with it the action. It looks like it's a lot it. bigger. Yeah. yeah, great action. So nice. Should we do a comparison size-wise then? Yeah, um, I don't have a full size bug out on me. Oh, okay. One. Okay, that's fine. We can okay. do it afterwards. We'll yeah. edit. We'll edit this video. We'll probably end up with one of these ourselves yeah. anyway. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's um, great. And it's flickable. Go ahead. Yeah. Demonstrate. I'm gonna. Don't put the spotlight on me. <laughs> Go ahead. You got it. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah. the fun, fundability, fun factor of that knife yeah, as well. Is. Yeah. I struggle with the holes. I can't, I can't do that. Uh -huh. yeah. Thumb stud. All done. That's what you said last night. Too. Oh, sorry. That's our that's our as humor. As soon as I said that, I was like, oh man, I'm really alley ooping this to her. Okay, Nate's Nate's cool with our humor then. Yeah. All right. Uh, did we say price? Price on that one is, I believe, one one sixty or one eighty. Oh, that's yeah. great. We're gonna have to. Have we gotta get one of these. Yeah. The tag out. Yeah. All right. Tagged out. Tagged out. Tag. Same, same, but different. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Let's Perfect. go to. Thank you. Well, Let's go to the skinning process. Here we go. Yes. And we can right go. Down. We can go light on the details here. Most of Excellent. our audience yeah. are, are going to be folders. Perfect. So we've just got here a quick fixed blade, small guy called the Flyway. This is your upland bird knife, uh, pheasant, waterfowl, everything like that. Yep. Just for those smaller animals and uh, good for breasting out where you don't have uh, where a chunky knife hurts or yeah. doesn't hurt. But or it's just, just a fancy pairing knife. Exactly. I saw somebody say this looks like a great desk knife. You know, you yeah. can open some letters really quickly and, and uh, really efficiently. Here you go. But it yeah. uh, has a nice little pencil grip to it. Love the ergonomics on it. Yeah, that is nice. Price on that? Price on that one is, I believe, 180. Okay. Like well, did you say the steel? Yeah. CPM 154, same as the tag out. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, so then moving on, this is the Raghorn. I like the looks of this. This one looks yeah. really cool. I love this orange Cerakote on that CPM crew wear blade. And then also this carbon fiber handle scale there. It's a pretty nice. Again, yeah. same thing as the anonymous that we looked at earlier. Because it's crew wear and it's so tough, we can get away with a thinner blade, which makes this pretty light. But it's a full hand, it's a full fixed blade right there for you. Yeah. This is going to be great for larger game, elk, moose, everything like that. The premium cool. western hunter. Do we call it a? Sorry, do we call it a back? It's not a back spacer. It's the, no, it's a full tank. It's a full tank. Full tank. Sorry, sorry. Full dinosaur but, tank. But back look here. at. Dinosaur. I'm trying to figure out what I want to call What's it. What's the I word? Like dinosaur. It's like dinosaur scales. It's like yeah. the wave pool or something. Yeah. It's yeah. waves then. That's what it's I'm looking so for. It's so lightweight though. Yeah. Wow. Right? Yeah. It is. You it is carbon super fiber light. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to be cheap. Right. That one is coming in at about 370 yeah. Yeah. SRP. Yeah. yeah. I can believe it. Uh -huh. uh, a couple of fillet knives. Skinny. Close. So these Aren't they are. This that's is not a fillet. Factor. It is close to a fillet knife, not okay. quite. It's more of a deboning knife. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You know, potato, potato. Okay. But uh, this is the Meat Crafter. We've done a few iterations of it already, this time in a OD Green G10 S45VN blade steel, which we're bringing back. Don't do that too often. Well, you say bringing back. When was it popular before? When was it used before? We've only used it one other time before, and it was actually in the very first version of the Meat Crafter that we did with oh, Stephen okay. Ranella from Meat Eater. That signature edition had S45VN. We took it away. And now it's back. It's great for your push cuts. Uh, I like having this around my kitchen just for doing briskets, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Oh, um, sure. It's perfect for it. Yeah, it looks like a nice knife. Nice. Yes. I like the orange version. Is this the same thing? Again, looking through the camera. Yep, same model, just different material yeah. or different handle material. Uh, and tell like, that last one MSRP is at 350. Uh -huh. And then this one MSRP is at 400. You've got yeah. the carbon fiber, still an S45 VN blade. 
but a nice bright orange Cerakote on it. Um, Beautiful, I love the looks. Give me options, that's yeah, what we want to exactly. do. Exactly, well, and I love, more more knife manufacturers should do carbon fiber and orange, because mm. that looks just so nice. I do together. like the, the contrast. Yeah, and a good polished hole, it looks like, in there. <laughs> yep. See? Yeah, we're, uh, we're staying oh, pretty oh, light on the on the yeah, uh, innuendos the in this video, actually. There we go. Well, yeah. that's we've gone through the whole table. Yeah. We've gone 360. So, that's what's everything. your favorite? What do you want out of this? Well, first, let's ask Nate. What is your favorite? What's your new favorite? Yeah. For 2022. I'm not usually. I've been waiting for an OTF to really sink my teeth into. Yeah. I think this is the one for me. Mine you too. Know, I don't this. like having my pockets weighed down. I'm a big bug out. Uh, and then I like my carbon 940s and everything like that. So yep. this is the OTF for me. I really like that one along with uh, the immunities as well. I actually really like the manual one. Uh, I like the manual The too. auto's yeah. great. I love. It's very snappy, but uh, I like the color that you get with the pump stuff. That is nice too. Yeah. Well, and is the color identical to the handle in say the gray, yes. blue gray On the blue version. one, I believe yes. it will be blue. And on the green one, it will be green. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's kind of my thing too. The shootout. Yep. yep. And then I like, I'm going to call it the integral model here. Oh, uh, yes. The <laughs> readout. That the, will be great too. The Claymore is super fun. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what else did I like? Well, There's obviously. There's a lot of great options. That 945 and then these, what were they called again? The immunities. 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 Yeah. Yes. And then you got to get the, the three different versions. <laughs> that lady over there needs the immunity. Yeah. She's just sneezing. Sneezing away. <laughs> No, that's it. We better wrap it up. We're uh, gonna yeah. we gotta stay under half an hour here. Right. No so, kidding. Oh okay. God. Very cool. Well, Nate, thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you guys you. for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show and let us know what you think. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot, everybody. And really good to see Benchmade with a strong 2022. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.